Um, really proud of our guys tonight. Uh, this was a game we have amazing respect for Valpo. Um, it's a winning program. You know, they. It's not about a one team that's good with Valparaiso. They they win every year. They have a proud program. They have a winning tradition, and that's one of the reasons we wanted to schedule the game. It was a great game for us to, and a great team for us to play. And obviously, they didn't have Tavon Walker. You know, which which makes a difference. There's no question. Uh, but overall, I was just I'm really proud of the way we're defending. Um, you know, we've talked about it at nauseum. You know, ever since Texas Tech. When we got knocked to the pavement, we, uh, we've we re rededicated and refocused ourselves to that end of the floor. And I'm just proud that the work that the guys are putting in in practice to to work on our positioning, our on-ball defense, our post defense, it's it's coming together and they're being rewarded for that, which is, uh, you know, which is something as a coach you always strive for. I thought a lot of guys did a lot of great things. Thought Gavin's energy and his minutes tonight were, were big. And, you know, this is a big week. I, I think I said it maybe on Monday night, but these three games coming off, you know, kind of that gauntlet we had heading into finals, these three games this week was going to be a real telltale sign for me to kind of see where we're headed. And, you know, we've taken care of the two home games, and now we'll have a tough challenge on Saturday afternoon against a much improved DePaul team that, uh, you know, will be a big time game for us. Yeah. Then that seven day layoff, chance to reset and a little bit. You know, we really reset after Texas Tech because we had a week off. You know, we, we got back from Connecticut from that tournament, you know, was a real low point for us. And even though, you know, we've lost two games since that, but if you look at those two games, one is a buzzer shot, you know, at Georgia Tech where I think they had 50 points, you know, up until that point, we just were so inept offensively. And then I want to say we held Purdue to maybe low 70s, and they're averaging, I think, about 90 a game, you know, on their home floor in Mackey. So, you know, I feel like ever since Texas Tech, our defense has been in a really good place, even though we've dropped a couple since then. I've, I've noticed uh, improvement, you know, uh, ever since that game. We had a week off before we played, and then getting another week last week uh, with finals week, it was able to really get us a chance to get fresh and get our legs back. and. And I think you guys are seeing that there's a little bit better bounce to our step, you know, maybe that we had a couple of weeks ago. Chris, did you like the way the ball was moving? Yeah, uh, yeah the first half special. I did. Yeah, I thought, you know, our guys were sharing it. I mean, 19 assists on 28 field goals, only seven turnovers. Um, look, I mean, sometimes, sometimes like, you know, you, you have to get beat in order to, you know, rediscover kind of what makes you good. And... You never like to go through that. It's not fun. And for our guys, because of maybe the heightened expectations coming into the year, it was a lot more, you know, publicized than maybe it would be in the past. And that's okay. That's good. That's what we want. But, um, you know, we had to go through that. And, you know, to our guys' credit, we were, we were at a point in time where you can decide where do you want to go? Do you want to fragment? Or do you want to come together and, and try to become a good team? And I'm, I'm really proud of the way that our guys have come together. And hopefully we can keep making strides as we get through the rest of this month. Chris, what does it tell you that in these, even though it might be, you know, they didn't have Walker, Chicago State competition, but you're not letting these teams back in. Yeah. Like when you get the lead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's something that we had problems with early in the year, amongst many problems. But um, the urgency of the guys has just really been good. You know, they – and I think part of that, too, is our bench is playing better. You know, we're, we're getting – Anthony Gaines is coming of age. He's giving us better minutes. Um, you know what you have in Barrett as a backup center. I thought Gavin giving us a double-double off the bench tonight was huge. Isaiah and Jordan being able to come in and, you know, Isaiah kind of more offensive-minded, Jordan more defensive, and it's allowed us to get a little more depth. And maybe part of that was on me. We had all these high-level games and, you know, you're riding your starters heavy minutes. You know, and I think that's something that I've tried to do is is get a little bit more bench minutes, get guys a little bit more rest so we can be fresher, hopefully, at the end of games. You had two different stretches, I think, eight and a half minutes in the first half, six and a half in the second half, where they didn't get a field goal. Yeah. You'll have timeouts during that stretch. What is, what's the message to the guys during those breaks? Yeah, well, we're just trying to play in four-minute segments. You know, you have these four-minute media timeouts, and you come to the timeout, and when you have a lead like that, you, you just reiterate, let's win the next four minutes. And, 
you know, a couple times our guys, you know, they were the ones that say, hey, they haven't scored. They didn't score in that four-minute period. So, you know, it's just something we kind of talk about as a team. You know, having those timeouts, it kind of allows you to, to break the game up, you know, in increments of four. And, and, and when you have a lead, the last thing you want to do is, is let up. So, you know, we always talk about winning the next four minutes. And I thought even to start the second half, that was key. We had the 17-point lead. We felt like the first four minutes of the half was going to be, you know, could we push it out to, to 20 plus and, or, or were they going to hit us with a spurt and get back into the game? To talk a little bit about the defense some more, um, you guys have been doing a really good job about getting out in transition and getting points off turnovers, uh, specifically attacking teams' handoffs. Is that something that you've emphasized in practice recently? Yeah, you know, it's, it's something we have length and we have quickness. So, you know, when you have Vic and Scotty and now Anthony Gaines, um, you know, Aaron's got size, you know, Brian as a point guard, you know, is a bigger point guard. So, you know, and Derek is very long and athletic. So with deflections and whether it be dribble handoffs or passes, I think our guys, I just feel like they're getting more instinctive. You know, I think we're reading passing lanes a little bit better. You know, we, we were a little bit like a step slow on everything for a while. And I feel like our instincts defensively are, are really picking up, which has led to a lot of turnovers. Coach, 12 of uh, 22 on threes tonight. Is yeah. Well, they ended up playing a lot of zone. Uh, they haven't done that most. You know, they haven't done that a lot. Uh, I think because we got off to such a quick start and we were executing early, they ended up going to the zone. And you guys know when you when you face a lot of zone, you're gonna get you're gonna get more threes. You know, when they're when they're trying to clog the paint and take away some of your driving lanes. So, I mean, the three point shot is part of what we do. I feel like we have good shooters. I mean, Vic got hot early. You know what Scotty can do from there. Bryant can make them. You know, having Aaron back, Gavin. You know, we have we have a lot of guys that can make threes. So, um, you know, certainly any anytime you have ten plus threes in a game, you're going to be happy, and and it's it's a big part of our attack. Coach, was this a one off with Balpo or something you guys can revisit? Uh, it was a one off for this year, but you know, obviously with Matt being a local guy, I mean, my my kids go to his high. My kid goes to his high school, so. Uh, I've become a I've become a new Trier dad now, and I'm a big fan of Matt. And uh, we'll, we can discuss in the future, but just this was a one-time deal for now.